Hey everyone, I'm Joe and today it's time for a Friday read and the live show reminder. I'll do the live show reminder first and then the Friday read. Tomorrow, which is Saturday the 18th of June, at 7pm GMT or 1pm Central Time, I will be doing a live show, uh, which I do every month, the SFF short fiction live show with Rachel, or Kalanadi as she's known on Booktube. This month will be on her channel, we rotate it each month. And we will be talking about the very short fiction that we've read in the last month, or as this is the case this time, it's actually the last six and a half weeks, I think it is, or seven weeks now. It should be really, really fun. We, we always um, have a good laugh talking about the short fiction and generally going off on small tangents all over the place. And we do try to interact with everybody watching so if you can join us and you have the free time then please do because it really should be fun and i'm really looking forward to doing it myself i will leave a link to rachel's channel in the description box below as well as a link to the live show as well and um, i would advise you to go and check out rachel's channel in general because well she's basically awesome in general so yeah just go to rachel's channel and watch it and i'd be surprised if you don't subscribe because she is indeed, as I said, awesome. So, now it's time for a Friday read. The first book that I'm reading is Burning Crow by William Gibson. This is a science fiction short story collection. There are 10 short stories within it. A couple of the short stories in it, I think either three or four of them, are set within the Sprawl universe. Sprawl universe contains a New Romancer, which is Gibson's most famous work. And indeed, Gibson himself is credited with New Romancer as creating the cyberpunk subgenre. The first story is one called Johnny Mnemonic which they made a film of in the mid 90s I believe with Keanu Reeves. I watched the film years ago and it's one of them films where it's kind of really bad but you kind of like it because of how bad it is and how ridiculous it is. The book of it, well the short story of it, is actually equally good. It's drastically different unsurprisingly it has the same character names and the same vague overtone but it's very very different but the feel of the world surprisingly is actually quite similar which i was really surprised about so i'm very interested to see what else gibson manages with the other nine stories the other book i'm reading is ancestral voices by tom sharp this is the eighth tom sharp book i will have read i've got a box set of them and this is actually the last one now, which is kind of sad, but I knew it would happen eventually. This had me laughing within the first 20, 25 pages, which only so far one of the others have managed to make me laugh that fast. It is brutally funny. And I'm not going to talk about the plot because I'm going to do a um, an overview of Tom Sharp at some point in the future. But it's humorous they're all set in england and they've all got very sort of dark satire and they're all extremely cleverly written and this is a really good one if you are more mm, sort of politically correct or you're more mm, sensitive to certain types of humor these books might not be to your taste because they are very brutal and um, in your face in many regards frankly but for me it works brilliantly and I'm absolutely loving these books just a shame that after this one I haven't got any more oh well the other book that I'm planning to start reading after the live show probably on Sunday will be Wizard and Glass this is the fourth book in the Dark Tower series I've really enjoyed the first three books so I'm very curious to see where the three gunslingers will go in this world and what will happen this is about the biggest so far I think one of the others is fractionally bigger but I mean, it's still not a big book anyway so this should be a fun book to read and I'm really looking forward to it so that's it for today all my social media links as well as the two links I mentioned related to Rachel will be in the description box below go and check Rachel's channel out she's awesome as I previously said and that's it for this video, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in another day. Bye for now.